Hi everyone, it's Louis again here with another tutorial. Uh, this one is on WebPlus X6 and we're going to create an elegant shopping cart. As you can see here, this customer is selling candles, soy scented candles, and they didn't want their own customers to have to scroll all the way down the page to see the, the products. They wanted to keep everything centralized as you can see here. So if I click on any of these names, you you actually see the uh, product pop up and it keeps everything positioned right here in the middle so you don't have to go anywhere else which makes it very easy for the customers to actually shop now the PayPal button or the add to cart button was created in PayPal and the reason for this is because the customer had specific shipping which I couldn't uh, design in uh, WebPlus X6 um, they wanted to have the customer have a flat rate uh, shipping of $10 if they purchase more than $50 worth of products. So um, I did contact WebPlus and they said that the best thing would be to do these buttons in PayPal itself. It is very easy. If you do need to create these buttons, they you can even phone them up and they will guide you through the process, but it is quite simple uh, to do. It's not a very complicated thing at all. Um, so let's move on and let's find out how we did this in WebPlus. So here we are in WebPlus and we need to first, before we do anything, create a document frame. And as you can see here, I've positioned it in the position where the products and the description of the product and the PayPal button will all appear. The way we do this is by going to Insert and we need to go to Document Frame and you select that and then it'll pop up small like that and you will need to untick this and you will need to set the scroll bars to none or to no because we don't want scroll bars in the actual iframe itself and uh, with the contents we'll get to that in just a moment um, we need to basically place the very first product in here and I'll show you how to do that in just a few moments so let's just get rid of this and the next step is we need to create a blank page and on this blank page we're going to position the actual product photo description and the price and the HTML code fragment for the shopping cart now obviously if you can create uh, the shopping cart in in WebPlus itself by all means do that if you have a, a complex shipping um, request by the customer then obviously you might have to go into PayPal and, and organize those buttons there but we've positioned it here and basically what we need to do is place an anchor uh, for this whole section and what I've done here I've done that on the actual image itself if you click on the image and then right click on it and go to anchor as you can see there I've named that line with the anchor, if you haven't done anchors before, uh, you don't need to have long-winded uh, descriptions. Just one word will suffice. And keep remember. Also remember that if you want to have more than two words, you must have a dash between each uh, each of the words. Otherwise, it won't allow you to create the anchor. So we'll press OK there. And now, if we go back to our products page and go to the document frame. And then go to contents as you can see here uh, this is what you want to appear when someone clicks on this page the first product that you want to be in here or you might have some want something else in that section and basically because we already created the anchor so we've got an anchor here select the anchor go to product info as you can see not our products because it is in the product info page then we go to Lime, select that, and you're done. And make sure this is selected on None, and that's it. So click OK. And now, these, all the names here, what I've done here, I've, I've joined an arrow with the actual text. So if you click on the arrow or the text, it's joined as one, um, so you can do that any way you want but I, I like to keep things nice and tidy right click on that go to hyperlink 
and we will create the actual link here which will be an anchor let's go to product info that's where it is and go to line which is all the way up the top here leave that on none the next thing you must do is go to target window and it's very important to select document frame and there's the frame that we have created which is the frame one um, and click OK and that's pretty much it you just need to repeat the process for every other name and make sure that on the products info page that every image actually has an anchor attached to it so that you can correlate that on the next page so this one's spiced and so on and so forth so i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial if you have any questions please uh, leave your comments on the page uh, on this actual video and uh, also subscribe if you like this video and hopefully you can see some more coming very soon thank you for watching bye now